Good day everyone, my name is Ruslan and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I hope you guys are good, I hope everything is fine on your side and uh, guys I hope you are enjoying my videos. Uh, do share and subscribe all right if you learn something from them so today is as usual a uh, kind of part four of our gas station design look at all the different things that we have done I've made videos for all of them this is our first adaptive family design this is our parametric fence that is our wall holder design and that is our composite uh, brick design all right and uh, today is a kind of part two of our brick designs um, check this out this is our composite design we are going to be make something similar to this but for example if you go to Google and if you write uh, you know my point of showing you Google and my entire work flow is because I want to be as open to you guys as possible right I want you to learn so you know there's a thing called the perforated uh, brickwork right look at how beautiful this is so one of uh, there's a small space between the bricks I mean it's not nothing special but we're gonna be making this thing inside Revit today so for example if you go to another tab and if you write size of brick in millimeters you know I'm gonna speak quick because I want videos to be small right so this is the standard size of the brick so we're gonna go back to Revit we are gonna go we are gonna open a curtain panel based and uh, we are going to press un we change the meters to uh, the units to millimeters we are going to press on this and uh, the brick of the size is 112 and in this case this is 240 so let's set the size to 400 and <coughs> excuse me and uh, the double of 112 is 224 so now uh, perfect okay let's zoom it in let's go to point and uh, set and set this plane and paste and uh, set again and uh, paste okay so now um perfect now let's go to that and uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. okay so now we have to move this by by what by 240 mm so mv and uh, click on that and uh, make sure it is straight okay moved and uh, now click on that mv and uh, perfect so now i'll click on both of these points and mv and uh, move that by 112 okay perfect um today's video is nothing hard all right it is kind of easy so now um you know this is the the what we missed the point so today um i mean reference and uh, okay f perfect so this is the first brick and uh, that is the second brick now let's go to modify and let's go to create form okay and uh, you know the, the the depth of that is going to be 70 mm all right and uh, now click on that and uh, create form perfect and uh, the depth of that is 70 mm again all right so our design is complete and now let's press tab and uh, let's change the the materials to a controllable parameter so b r i c k brick uh, materials okay and uh, okay okay and uh, even in this case tab and uh, change this to brick materials and uh, now let's go to family type so um, let's go to this let's create uh what should we do uh, let's create a new material so create new material and then uh, let's rename it to b r i c k bricks okay uh so bricks now use rendered and uh, you know for the color um you know in my internet explorer i kind of um have um an add-on which picks up color right so i simply open another tab i i typed color of a brick and look at all these different bricks that appear so i think i'm going to choose this one you just press on that and if you go back to the color so they ha they're going to show you the code of the rgb right so it's 183 90 and 66 so let's go back to this and this is the code right um so it was 183, uh, 90, and uh, 66. Uh, let me double check. 183, 90, and 66. Perfect. So check this out. You know, so uh, this workflow is quite um, easy. All right. So bricks, bricks. Now let's go to realistic and check this out. Our brick cutter is on point. Now let's go load into the project. So we have loaded all right the existing. Um, no, I think this is going to uh, create a problem because um, there are other families which has the same name. So lo I think you have to save this. Let's go to file save uh, desktop and uh, family 20 um, I want one copies. Let's uh, save it by family 20 name and now let's load into the project So it's gonna load in as family 20 now. Let's go to the top view. Let's go to massing inside Let's go to in place mass. Let's go to close and this is mass number five. Oh my god um, so much progress so one and uh, two and uh, fine uh, let's click on that create forms and uh, let's click on that uh, you know let's raise this by a little bit perfect so now um, come on come on uh, tap and uh, divide surface so the size of this is gonna be according to our brick size which is what which is 420 and uh, um, this is gonna be um, 
no it was what was the size oh my god how can i forget uh 400 and 224 so um, now let's click on that so 224 and uh, uh 400 apply apply check this out and uh, now simply let's go to that and family 20 and uh, let it load in because there's so much different data to process and check this out guys our our uh, facade is already made our perforated uh, wall is uh, it's already pieces now let's go to finish mass all right and uh, we have finished the mass and i paused it because you know it took like 15 seconds all right so check this out this is our perforated wall the one exactly uh, you know the one i showed you guys um let's go to hidden and uh, this is it guys so this is the the perforated uh, wall inside Revit, exactly the one that we saw uh let's go back and this this is the the one that we saw and this is the one that we made so it looks perfect according to the natural brick size so i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learned something from it all right take care of yourself and uh, bye bye